welcome to Remote Sum Class, Mr. Dowd here. Uh, happy Thursday. Anyways, I'm just trying to finish up this Valentine's Day project so we can get it done before winter break. However, with ANET testing going on, um, I'm not sure what day this will be posted. So, I'm just going to continue working on this then. So we might have a day or two when we get back from break to work on this. Just as a uh, kind of keep coming, you know? Just a little extra coming in. But we will see. Anyways, so today I'm going to go ahead and just as a reminder, this is what my project is going to, well, what I try to make it look like. I don't think I'm going to make it even close to this, but uh, yeah, I'm trying my best. So I'm going to go ahead, select this all. I'm going to, oh, it's already grouped. So I did that last class. So let's make this bigger. Like that, and now I'm going to copy it, paste it, and I'm going to make a smaller one. Put it in the inside, but I'm going to make it taller. All right, and I'm going to copy that and do the same thing one more time at least. Bring that to the middle. And let's also raise that up. <clears throat> I don't really like how that looks. So let's make this one a little bit smaller. Let's make this one smaller as well. And make it smaller this way. All right, let's go ahead and align these. Cool. Actually, that doesn't look too, too bad. I think I'm going to go ahead and group this. Actually, yeah, if I group this all together, so now that's one piece. Now, if I go ahead and copy this, make it way smaller, way taller, I can put that right in the middle. And there you go. Look at that. That oh, looks like the rose. A little bit. Let's just group that all now. Perfect. Oh, actually, let's ungroup that and let's get that aligned. Cool. That looks better. So I would say that looks uh, similar to this. So it gets really thick in the middle, right? So now I'm going to work on the stem because every flower has its stem. Let's go ahead and raise that up. Mm, how do, I, do I want to use drawing tool for this? Uh, or sorry, scribble tool. Mm, I think. No, I'm going to just use cylinder. Make it easy. Change it to green. Let's raise it up. Well, first, let's make this thinner. Let's see that. Let's make that a little bit thinner and taller. And we can go ahead and make that align again. Why didn't I want to align? Hmm. Not sure why I can't align those two, but uh, looks pretty good. Looks in the middle. See that looks pretty close. Next, I'm gonna do a leaf. So it's kind of <laughs> that didn't look like a leaf at all. Actually, I have a better idea before I start actually doing that. Um, rose leaf. What does a rose leaf look like? Okay, so it's a little, so that's what I'm going to try to draw something like that. But I'll do that for next class. So that's what I'm going to try to aim for, something that looks, looks like that. Okay, guys, that's all I have for today. Happy Thursday or a different day. Not sure. It should be Thursday, though. All right, that's all. Have a great day. Bye. Hey guys, Mrs. Fairburn here in Florida at my mom's. I want to show you some of the trees 
that she has. You've probably seen them if you've been down in DR or someplace warm. So this one right here is a lemon tree. And it usually blooms in the fall. And all these flowers are the bloomings of a lemon. You still get lemons, but mostly between September and December. So all these flowers are being pollinated to create um, lemons. And it has a ton of, if I back up, you can see, they get a ton of lemons. All right, so the one over here is an orange tree and I just planted that this year. All right, and we have one orange on the ground. He looks, he looks like a lemon, he's yellow. And there's another one. I thought I saw another one in here. Maybe this was the one. There's another one in here that's, oh, here it is. That's forming. So this is a relatively young tree. So, whoops, just trying to catch a little orange. So this hopefully will get bigger and survive all the storms that they get down here. Then we have this tree. This is a grapefruit tree, just planted. And it has, I guess it has a little bit of buds on it. But, I mean, I doubt they'll get a grapefruit this year. Maybe, I don't know. But grapefruits are pretty big. I'm surprised they could hold up on that tree. So, that's a grapefruit tree. And then a tiny, tiny mango tree. Look how little. Right? Very young mango tree. You guys see those a lot if you're in DR in Puerto Rico. So those are her four, four trees? Yeah, four fruit trees that she has out here. Some of these, um, most of these are just planted except for the lemon one that's been here. And she also has a lot, I thought she had a lime tree out here that might've got destroyed in the hurricane. So that's, um, that's all my fruit trees, right? So lemonade, she, she said she gets so many lemons that she makes, um, Lemonade, she's always making, she's always giving them away and she just makes some, she gets a crazy amount of lemons. So, it's pretty cool. I wish we could do fresh trees like this at home, but it's too cold. But an orange tree, I don't know how big that's gonna get, so. And you don't need to water them this time of year because they like this type of weather and they like this type of soil, so. But maybe I'll show you, um, a picture of the lemonade that was made from these lemons because she did make fresh lemonade from it which is also very nice to have all right i will talk to you soon i'm probably going to add to this video hey guys i just wanted to show you this spot which looks like a bunch of grass but if i back up you see how those sticks are all around it these are protective wildlife they are not here right now, but they're called burrowing owls. They're little. They're like the size of a bird. They're not that big. And they burrow where that stick is underneath the ground. They usually are here in the springtime, like April, when I come down. Um, and they're pretty aggressive. Like they don't like any of their stuff, but the, um, so they're in danger, not in danger, they're protected. So that's why this, um, rope is up around it you're not allowed to go near them or touch them or kill them or guess or whatever shoot them whatever you'd want to do with them <laughs> you have to leave them alone you can't feed them and do anything with them so they're called burrowing owls they're kind of if you bother them they will like dive bomb you like those other birds will sometimes but they're pretty cool and so this is all your cross street for my mom's but they're pretty much all over marco and florida i should say and I'm going to show you what. <laughs> so they used to go on top of my mom's mailbox and go to the bathroom all the time, which drove her nuts. So my dad put these spikes up, which is kind of mean, so they wouldn't go on here. 
And then now when the owls come, they just sit like right here, like on top of a spike. So yeah, they're not stupid, but it does kind of deter them. So they're not here all the time. They will stay away from here and not go to the bathroom as much on the mailbox. And sometimes I'll walk out that front door, which her house is right there. And there'll be one like sitting right there. So they're really cute, but um, they are pretty aggressive and, and you're not allowed to go near them at all. As far as, I don't know, what you'd want to do to them, but they're very protected here. They're like very protected. So yeah, so those were another cool thing I thought you might like. I know there's no cooking in today's video, but you saw some fruit trees and some endangered wildlife. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <music>
that I feel some days on those long days of Zooming all day. Sometimes I feel like I'm attached to my chair. So I wanted to show a little bit of emotion or feeling there that I feel like I'm just attached to this chair all day for hours and hours staring at my computer. And sometimes that can be hard. So I wanted to show that in this image. I also made my body look very blocky um, with just kind of like shapes that might not be realistic. My arms and hands are larger, so that's not really realistic or accurate. The proportions are a little bit off. And I wasn't very concerned with drawing my computer and making it look like a realistic perspective of that computer. That I drew a little bit off too, well, as I was thinking about Jacob Lawrence's style of drawing and painting. So hopefully you guys have a drawing or a sketch of a scene from your daily life. This is mine. Now I'm going to ask you guys to add some color, but like we talked about, you can just make like, you don't have to worry about value changes. You don't have to make it darker on the edge and then lighter. You can just make it all one color flat. Okay. So for example, maybe I make myself wearing a red shirt. I am not going to make it darker on the edge to make it look like my body has form. I'm just going to make it all the same value of red kind of like a middle value. So you can just do large blocks of color, any colors you want, but you don't have to be concerned with value changes or making light areas and dark areas. And I wanna keep it in that Jacob Lawrence style. So maybe I make a little line there. I'm just trying to make it all one value or all one shade of red or tone of red. All right, guys. So finish up your sketch and then you can start coloring and you don't have to worry about value changes. Okay, just do flat shapes of color. All right, guys, I'm going to continue to color mine. I'm going to let you guys go so you can work on your Jacob Lawrence inspired drawing of your everyday life. I can't wait to see your drawings. Good luck. Hey, guys, welcome back to another episode of Virtual PP. I miss reading. All right, we have the lower body um, stretches to do today, so let's get going. We're gonna do one foot in front, and the other foot's gonna be tucked in. We're gonna do a hamstring stretch, and we're gonna go down and touch one leg. Keep, keep this in straight. Stretching a growing here.
fringe stretcher is what we're doing. Okay. back stretch.
Thanks for watching Enrichment TV, Gators. Remember, work hard, be nice, and we'll see you tomorrow.